Here you can see we are converting our backyard into our flower farm. So we had originally planned on a different location for our flower farm and we even planted a cover crop in that area but in the late winter early spring we found out that that area floods so we have not lived in this house for even a year yet so we just did not know um, how that was going to go or and couldn't have anticipated that the back field was going to flood completely and pretty much become a river so that meant that we had to change our plans and um, decided to move our flower farm into the location that we had originally planned to have as our family garden. So you can see here, this is a view directly out of our kitchen window. And to the left is our chicken coop. And to the right is our kids tree house. So pretty much this is this is about smack dab in the middle of our backyard and it's proven to be a pretty good area for for the flowers. I mean, you want to have them close so that you are taking good care of them and looking at them every day. You don't want them to be too far away so that you are maintaining them well. Um, as you can see on the date timestamp on this video, we did this back in April. Um, I would say that in planning for flowers and when you want them to bloom, you would want to have your land prepared and have the ability to put flowers in the ground in probably early March um, because I know the snapdragons probably would have done a lot better if we had had this prepared early enough to have the snapdragons in the ground and happy before it got too hot. Uh, right now it's June and the snapdragons are struggling. Um, not only that, but we have them on the other side of our garage and they are in full sun all day. So they are, they're having a hard time, especially, I mean, we're under heat warnings right now. We're in the high nineties every day. So it's getting pretty rough. Um, you can see here we got some awesome friends to come out and help us burn all the holes in our fabric. All the fabric that you see being laid down here in this video, the holes were burned on the premises that day uh, by a friend of ours. And uh, myself and two others were working on digging up dirt for the walkways and kind of throwing that dirt into the planting areas. And then my husband was lining up the irrigation so that we could have three irrigation lines per bed. Um, we have heavy clay soil, so we didn't want to have too much water. Um, but if you could see there, the holes, those make up a whole four foot span and they're all nine inches apart. So only three lines for irrigation was kind of a guess for us. Um, it's, they're evenly spaced on the, at 12 feet, or excuse me, 12 inches apart between um, all the rows, but um, wasn't really sure exactly what we were doing with that, but it seems to be working out pretty well. Um, the flowers seem to be happy and seem to be plenty wet enough. So I did tell my friends, you know, about this and they were very gracious and willing to help, but they did ask if this is an annual uh, task and I did say yes. And so they, they promised they'll probably be sick next year <laughs> when we do this again, which is completely fine. I totally understand. Honestly, getting all these holes burned in them and just kind of figuring out the process, I have a feeling it will be a lot smoother and quicker next year. Um, We'd like to get some cover crops down on this this year, but trying to keep the flowers throughout the season, that may or may not be possible. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys the transition and how our backyard changed into a flower farm. Thanks for watching.